LC, this is the LD. We are go for launch. And lift off of the Delta IV rocket with Gozo. We're at Kennedy Space Center. Today is June 27, 2009. We're going to launch the next Gozo, Gozo on the Delta IV critical rocket. row in helping predict severe weather. Exactly a month ago, on June 27, NASA launched a new and improved weather satellite code GOES-O. Now that GOES-O is safely into its orbit, it has been renamed to GOES-14. Today, I'm at NOAA Satellite Operations Facility in Suitland, Maryland, where NASA and NOAA will be releasing the very first image from GOES-14. And one of the things that GOES-14 will be doing is providing weather forecasters with images with greater stability and resolution. So let's go in and see the first image and talk to NOAA meteorologist Tom Rankevins about it. We're seeing the first visible image from GOES-14 here in a Suitland National Satellite Operations Facility launch control room. We see some thunderstorms in the Oklahoma, Texas area have been dropping an inch or more of rain through today. Some thunderstorms off the east coast we're seeing. As we see more and more of the Atlantic Ocean coming in to the right side of the screen, we see an absence of tropical activity. It's been very quiet this year. So what is exciting about today? What are we seeing in the background? Well today, for the first time, we see a full disk image. It took 30 minutes to come in. And it's exciting, it's the very first full disk image from the satellite that just launched nearly a month ago. So how high is the resolution of this image? The resolution for the visible pixels, you can see uh, one kilometer uh, pixels on the ground, which equates to, if you're standing seven football fields away, taking a picture of a dime. So seeing those uh, images at one kilometer, you can really focus in on uh, forest fires, uh, snowfall, uh, hurricane tracking, severe weather tracking from far away in space. And you said far away in space, then how does this satellite take these stable images? It's over 22,000 miles away from Earth, and to get stable images, or star trackers are on board a very sophisticated spacecraft. So when you look at a series of images, you can see the clouds or features move, but the, the land beneath it stays stable. Do you recall any very exciting images from the previous Ghost missions? Can you tell me a little bit? Well, several years ago, I do recall seeing Hurricane Katrina. It was very impressive from satellite imagery, and that picture got the word out, helped the hurricane forecasters and help the general public realize and identify there's a very severe uh, situation on hand and help get the word out for people to evacuate. So seeing those pictures of Hurricane Katrina or other hurricanes or severe weather really gets a message across to, to uh, of the importance of, of the weather. So you must feel like you're part of something making a difference? We sure are. We're definitely making a difference every day providing these great images to the public. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. For NASA Goddard Television, this is Sylvia Stoyanova.